Want to hear me play guitar? For Pete's sake, you have no arms. You're a friggin' cupcake. How are you going to play guitar? Want to hear me sing? Sure, why not? Hold on till the end of the strain. Let's whine about the things you do. They need a change. You don't get that relief. You can act like it's new. You've got the rhythm and that got the blues. You've got the rhythm and that got the blues. That wasn't just you singing. I noticed harmonies in there. How'd you do that? When somebody cries, just a familiar sound. A whole heap of heartbreak follows you around. Now I'm just disgusted, I used to be abused. You've got the rhythm and I've got the blues. You've got the rhythm and I've got the blues. You've got the rhythm and I've got the blues. Okay, now seriously, how did you and your background singers grow mouths? I took a few pictures and went to the BlabberEyes.com website. My friend will explain how it works. Welcome to BlabberEyes.com, the only internet site that you can upload a picture, select the mouse on that picture, and then record some sound. And this is when we get crazy. We make that picture talk to the sound. A talking picture. I'm not kidding. This is real. Okay? When we show it to people for the first time, they hear a boom inside their head. They are so amazed. They are like, hey, I just heard a boom inside my head. And I'm like, yeah, that's right, buddy. That's us blowing your mind, okay? You better believe it. I can't believe it. I'm peeing a little. I'm so excited. I literally just peed my pants from the excitement. It is so good and warm. So there you have it. Eduardo loves Blabberize, and generally I would say that seeing your fans is gross, but Blabberize is just that good. I wouldn't be surprised if you feed your fans too, okay? But with the other crazy things as well, you can have more than one mouth on a single picture, and they will say both the mouth, talking to the same audio. It's so, it's so amazing, I'm losing words to describe it. Let me just show you. Take it away, boy. I hope you lads are not going to pee your pants because of the awesomeness. Don't worry, Your Majesty. We're all wearing diapers. I don't, is that what we rehearsed? Anyway, you see what we did there? We had many people talking on one picture. It was crazy. I know you were just saying, wow, this is amazing. I bet some of you even probably openly whipped in your hands from the craziness and the amazingness of it all, huh? To produce my part of the introduction to BlabberEyes.com, I began with three images. The first image of the cupcake I blabberized with one soundtrack containing two segments of my own voice, which I increased in pitch using Filmora 9, and which I later edited into two separate segments. I used the cupcake again to sing along with a part of the song, Again, one image, one soundtrack, and one take. The image of the kitchen stuff singing along to another part of the same song was also just one image, one soundtrack, one take, but utilized the blabberize.com utility for multiple mouths. But the tricky part came in using the third image. This bit of video required one image with two soundtracks and two takes. Let's look at how it was done in Filmora 9. First, I wrote out a simple three-line script which included a line I wanted to add to the cupcake. The first line is the Queen speaking in my terrible impersonation of Monty Python, which I enhance by raising the pitch. The second line is the response by the Royal Guards, which is in a simple chorus. Despite the fact that Filmora 9 does not have a chorus utility, if the goal is to simply make your chorus sound like multiple voices, it is very simple to do. Simply right-click on your soundtrack and choose Adjust Audio, then change the pitch ever so slightly. Export the segment as an MP3, then reset the original segment. Import the output and add it as a new audio track, then repeat this process of export and import, changing the pitch ever so slightly each time until you have the size of a chorus you are looking for. Don't worry, Your Majesty, we're all wearing diapers. Let's move on to the blabberize.com website. You'll start with this page, where you will scroll down to find the sign-up link. Then once you have created an account, 
log in and clicked on the Make button, you'll find yourself here. From this page you can upload your image where the pink balls you see on the opposite corners allow you to crop your image if you desire to. As you progress, function icons will appear below your image. Next we advance to mouth placement which takes a bit of practice. I found that finding an area of the mouth where it opens naturally works best. For example, it looks really weird if the mouth opening appears above the top lip. It is also important to know that all of the colored buttons shape the mouth, except the big one at the bottom which is used to determine how far down the mouth drops. Note that another function icon has appeared and the two buttons below the image allow you to add or subtract mouths. Now let's move on to uploading our soundtrack. I choose to upload a soundtrack because most times I like to edit in Filmora 9 or run it through a voice changer software but you do have the option here of using your own voice with a microphone. Now let's move on to the preview. I hope you lads are not going to pee your pants because of the awesomeness. Notice that more function icons have appeared which can be used as breadcrumbs to retrace your steps. At this point, if I am creating clips of a video project, I quite often screen capture the preview so as not to litter my account with an untold number of bits and pieces. Moving on, you have the choice to save or edit. We'll choose save this time. I'll fill in the field boxes very quickly as an example. Then we move on to the summary page where you can determine the fate of your masterpiece and either sharing it with others, rendering it to video, or deleting it, etc. The last two pages on the blabberize.com website I would like to show you are found by first clicking on the browse button, which will take you to the blabberize gallery to which you can contribute if you so choose. And finally, your account control page where you can fill in your profile and edit your catalog. Before signing off, here are a few final words from our gracious host. I want you to try the site. It's free to use and private, okay? And then when you make your blabber, share it with your friends. Go to it. I'm really excited to see what you guys do. Enjoy the site. Uh-oh, Dad's home. Who the hell drew cartoon faces with a Sharpie on everything?